What's up everybody, it's Nerp here, and today we're gonna play some Judgment. So we'll be drafting a deck, and hopefully we can get more scrolls by winning uh, 5 out of 5. I'm actually on a pretty good Judgment streak, I think I have 2 or 3 uh, flawless runs in a row where I won 5 out of the 5 games, but that was due to a lot of luck in the draft, so hopefully we can get that again. And I want to raise this gold total over 40,000. Here we go. So. I see this. I see energy. I see an Ether Pump, a Thunder Surge, and a Solemn Giant slash Iron Ogre. I think that's the definite path we're going to take. I mean, I see Brother of the Wolf, but I don't see much growth up here. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. The, Definitely energy. Do I want to take incendiaries or ether bomb? Nah, ether bomb's good. And now I see pretty bad stuff. I guess focus is good. Um, maybe we'll go energy order, or maybe I could take the overdrive on that uh, ether pump. We'll see. We're definitely taking thunder surge here. Um, I see a storm runner, so that's good. Uh, Iron ogre or solemn giant? I think I'm gonna go solemn giant. Tool initiate. A solid creature. Tool initiate gets overlooked a lot because it's well, it's never played at all. But it's, it has the same stats as a gun automaton, except for it's not range, so it's really fine for two cost. It's not that bad. Um, I think a focus is just better than overdrive. Definitely storm runner. I see if inferno blast. It's fine. A yarl. I don't think we're gonna get seven growth though. I definitely see good energy stuff. Oh, now we got growth. Um, we'll definitely see the tool initiate though. And now we kind of lost our energy over here. I do want to take the Inferno Blast though. And we got a Siege Cracker. Okay, so we're doing okay. We have to get. Let's see, maybe we can go a little bit of growth in it. And we can go Eye of Eagle, Kinfolk Ranger, or Sister of the Fox, Kinfolk Ranger. Yeah, let's try doing that. Sister of the Fox. Oh, we got two Siege Crackers. Royal Skirmisher, but I don't think we're in order at all. Oh, uh, we got that focus. We'll see. Um, rally. To be honest, I don't think we're gonna be using any of this row though. I don't. I think our energy is too strong to go up to five growth. Let's go siege cracker. Um, we got efficiency. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take that efficiency. Or also, there's this also. The thing with efficiency though, I could use it as like. It will ramp my own energy so I think we want to get some order stuff so I might want to take this guy but I think siege cracker is just much smarter to take uh I don't know what does this even do increase energy by one yeah we'll take that um efficiency let's take another one of these harvester I don't think we're in decay at all even though I do see a life stealer down here so I think a can automaton is very good so is a desperation. I think we're out of growth even though we got those two growth scrolls. I think we have more order like this guy right here. So I'll go desperation, wing soldier. Oh, machinated, that's nice. Um, dead draw right here, I think. Dead draw right here also. Oh, well, copper autumn, that's not terrible. Do I want to get this necker gun in case we snag an eclipse? And no. Not worth the risk. Watch me just like get an eclipse in like two turns. Two whatever these things are called. I'm not really sure. Uh da, what do we want to take? I guess this gives order, so I don't know what we're not gonna use that. Oh we definitely machinated. Ooh, another ether pump and machine priest and incendiaries. Oh, this helps better more desperation is looking good. Uh this gives decay. Alright, I don't think we're gonna be using this stuff. I'll just take this for no reason. Rave like elder and bounce dispersal, that's good. Uh, I think I'll take the ether pump. Maybe we can get a sheep machine divinator. Dust runner, good. We have elder outcast. Or do we want to take balance dispersal dust runner? I'll start. I'll, st uh, I'll start off by taking the hell spitter mortar. Uh, alright, we got a dead draw right here. Now let's see how many creatures do we have. We have seven creatures, and we are a little bit more than halfway through our 
drafts. Um, I feel like, but my creatures are like there's like a uh, two siege crackers, eh, and a storm runner. It's not a lot of. I mean, I have solemn giants to do idle damage, and this was just, and mashing it's an increased attack. I kind of want this Gravelock Elder and the Gravelock Outcast. The VD is just so good, though. Uh, and if I don't get any more Gravelocks besides these guys, it will won't be that wouldn't have been the best decision. I should have just taken this then. Mm, and we didn't get any burns yet or sparks. We have a Thunder Surge, though. You know what? Screw it. Gravelock Elder. I like Gravelock Elders. Uh, Gravelock Outcast. And we got is that three dead draws? That sucks. Maybe we can use some of this stuff. Crimson Bowl, Ragged Wolf. Ooh. Alright, now we're talking. Um Okay. Maybe we actually are in more growth than order. I don't know. We'll see. Uh this is a tough choice. Raider or burn? I already have the uh the what's it called? The elder, so raider was gonna be nice. But I think burn is too good to pass up. Uh Fury We got the Eclipse from before. Whatever, we don't need that. Um whatever, we're not gonna get that. Massination mindset and piercing projectile. What creatures are not range in our deck? Yeah, I don't think Massination Mindset. Ooh, Solemn Giant Massination Mindset. That'd be cool. Yeah, I'll get that like just for that. I do have a lot of range guys, I think. I have Elder, Cannon, Automaton. Those are big range guys. Um, I guess you could put it on Storm Runner, but that wouldn't be that great. Where do I take the Clock Library? We also have the Scatter Gunner, so I think I'm going to go Pearson and Scatter Gunner. I'm going to pass up on the Inferno Blast. We already have one. Alright, now we can look. Do we want this Travel Mortal? This will give us growth. Are we in growth, really? We have five growth scrolls and five order scrolls. Three growth creatures, one order creature. But we have ten energy creatures. That's good. I do definitely like the spells that the order has to offer. I have or enchantments or whatever it is. Um, it was like focus, efficiency. That's nice. Focus on efficiency and then desert or to ramp my energy. But then growth has crimson bull, ragged wolf, ranger, and sister the fox. And then past this, I definitely see some growth. I see. I think we definitely take this right here, but it's not like I want any of these things. Scattergun are very good. Running out of picks here. Um, Ranger Frost Gale. Uh, we take the warm creature, I think. Another warm body. Um, dead draw right there. Uh, do I take another. Desert Memorial. I can really go ramping. Yeah, I'm gonna take it. I'm feeling ambitious. That guy's good. Ragged Wolf. Uh, what do I want to do? Um, I guess Beast Rat. We're not gonna use it though. Not gonna use that. All right. Proximity Charge of Ragged Wolf. Can we go Mono Energy? 25. No, we're not gonna be able to go Mono Energy. I see, I think we're going Clock Library, Sister of the Fox. These are the last three, I think, so. Uh, let's see. We have 25 energy. We have more growth. I think we have to go growth. These are those two. We'll see. I think we had a pretty good deck. Let's take out Decay. We're definitely using that. We'll start with the energy stuff. Definitely want that. Definitely want that. Probably want both of those. Maybe. I think I want that. Definitely want that. Definitely want that. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. I think we have a pretty decent deck. Let's see. 11 creatures, not bad. Good idle hitters with the sea trackers, and then we also have a solemn giant. Um, Massination mindset, what could I even go on? I can go on. Sea Tracker, probably wouldn't want to do that though. 
Oh, I do have a machinated also, so I can do machination mindset and machinated on something. Grab like outcast I could work on, tool initiate it can work on. Uh, copper on what's on I would work on, I probably wouldn't do that though. I think solemn giant definitely. Um let's see. Let's see what growth has to offer. Growth would be a crimson bowl. Um Sister of the Foxes. These things and probably one of these. So that's what growth would bring to the table. Some low cost creatures and bring my creature counts uh, more than half my deck. And then if I did order I would put in one creature. How much I need? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Uh Also, if I do growth, I'm gonna want to put in um, the travel memorial, but I'm not. I, I think I'm gonna go order because that efficiency and those desert memorials just are way too attractive. I know I love my ragged wolves, my crimson bulls, but I do love me some efficiency. All right, so that's our deck. Uh, let's call it um, uh, energy order. Let's play match. Uh, judgment. Play match. Yippee. No waiting on the camera. Sorry, I do not know your name. It's covered up. Good luck. Um, starting hand. Uh, okay, I guess I'll sack, that, sack the memorial. We'll see if we can play without them. Because, I mean, the order doesn't really offer that much to the table that we absolutely need it. An owl. Okay. Uh, our inferno blast kills that owl. I'm gonna sack the machination mindset. I think that's gonna be late gameish uh, when we have our solemn giant out and stuff. And anyways, most of our guys are ranged besides that siege cracker. Who I don't think is really gonna want a machination mindset unless we machinate him. We shall see. Um. Don't play a brave, don't play a sister, don't play anything. Brave? What is this? Look at this deck. Uh, let's see. I'll sack the wing soldier. Hmm. I think I'm gonna scatter gunner. Or no, he's just gonna move down. And then kill my guy. I have infernal blast though. So if I put a scatter gun right here and then he moves down next turn, I would infernal bust and this bird would just kill me. So I'm just going to infernal bust. And now watch him put like two betters in this like hex and now I should have infernal blast next turn. Just watch it happen. I think this his deck is gonna be very weak to my thunder surge later, so that would be nice. Second for more growth. Maybe a druid burial ground, heal that guy up, and a frost beard. Okay, so I have to get rid of that thing bef before it like destroys me. Thunder surge. Um, let's see. I think I'm gonna go for the scatter gunner. Okay. So he's probably going to move down and try to kill my scatter gunner next turn, and I will either fury so like my guy can kill his, but then his uh his guys would all get a lower count down. I wonder what he's going to play this turn. Champion ring. Oh, he does not move down, so he's going straight for that middle idol. Ooh, I do like. I guess I can see tracker now. I don't think. I think to win this game, we're not going to be going for idols early. We're going to be going for him early. Uh. I do like that ether pump. That's what we're gonna do this turn. Um, I want to put it in the back more because I think we're gonna want to protect it. I want to put it in the front where I can't protect it. So let's see what he does. I assume he's gonna just destroy that idol. I hope he does. I don't want him to move down because then I have both of the. If he moves the both down, I'll be sad. And now he kills him, and he's probably gonna move that frost beard down. Not good. Not good. I have a fury to make my um, ether pump go one faster, which could end up being very good. And he does not kill that middle idol, and he moves that guy back. 
Okay, so as we stand, he cannot destroy that either prompt, but he probably has something to destroy it with. Um, I want that ether pump to survive, so that brave dies, and I can thunder surge next turn also. So I'm just going to block this thing with this out He's out of cards, which is good. He can destroy two idols this turn if he doesn't decide to kill my outcast. I'm not sure what I would rather. Him destroying two idols so early, I don't, I don't know if I like that. Let's just hope that um, I'm able to Thunder Surge his guys next turn. Too bad I couldn't do it a turn earlier. I should have. He goes for the double idol. I should have uh, before sacked for resources only. Or no, because then I wouldn't have or no, I would have I would have drawn the thunder surge. Okay, a wildling. That thing can be a bother soon. Uh cannon. We got a cannon. Let's see, if I fury you die I can kill you. I'm gonna have fury this turn probably. I don't see the Thunder Surge yet, because he didn't connect the guys well enough. So, Fury. You're dead. Uh. The. I can't kill him. His. All friendly units gain plus two attack until the end of your turn. If I kill him, then this wildling's going to attack for two or more. Yeah, and this guy's gonna attack for five, so I don't want to do that. So we're gonna. So at least that gets rid of that guy. And we have a thunder surge in our hand. So connect all your guys and put two two less than two health creatures next to that wildling, so it lowers the wildling's health, and I can kill the creatures next to it. This is getting a little scary. Come on. Maybe that fury wasn't the best move. I don't know. And he separated them. No. Really? What are the chances of me having a thunder surge? Why are you separating? Why are you separating? Alright. And what's going to happen? I feel like he's just gonna make a big mistake and connect them all at once, so I wanna kinda wait to use the Thunder Surge. But it seems like he knows what's up. Piercing projectile. Eh. I'm not gonna Thunder Surge this turn. Um, I wouldn't just use it on just him, and this isn't that valuable either. It's kind of annoying that he knew how to separate his guys. Uh. I'm going to these very little cards. I'm gonna go ahead. When this if this goes off again, both of those guys die, which is gonna be really nice. So I want to protect this thing. So I'm gonna put on a storm runner and a copper automaton. I want to kill something with the copper automaton. So I'm gonna put the copper auto. But he can place something next to that, and then. We want more health next to this though, so we just put two things down. So I'll go Storm Runner there. And do I protect the idol or do I move him up so then if he attacks that I can kill him? I think this one we have to protect the idol. Yeah. Because if we don't, he could probably win next turn if he has the right cards. If we didn't protect that idol up there. He could have like a Ragged Wolf and like a Crimson Bowl and we lose. It's not looking good. Maybe let's we'll wait two turns for that ether pump to go off. Uh, come on, just connect all you guys so I can T surge. Let's see, thunder surge. He sacks for scrolls. Oh yeah, if you're watching this video and you haven't seen my uh, top ten growth scrolls video yet you should go check that out 
I uh, worked pretty hard on a video that I ranked the 10 best growth scrolls in the game. I have my opinion on how they're ranked, so. Yep. You should watch that if you're interested. Oh no. Now what do we do? Another oh, ether pump. Focus. Uh, I don't think we need to thunder surge now. That guy's not attacking. Okay, so that guy, that guy, and that guy. This, those three guys are all dead if this thing can survive another turn. Problem is, there's a lot of ways that it won't survive. This will elbow on it. I'm gonna put this down. The reason I'm putting it down instead of the anchor pump is because that 6 health is important as he is 3 attack, 2 attack, and 2 attack. So that would, 3 plus 2 is 5, so then he would be able to put 2 on that. So yeah. But, he can, he can do the same. All he has to do is just put a unit, he can't put any units next to that or else it will die. So yeah, never mind. We It was good that we did that. And let's see what he does. Oh, sack for scrolls, that means he can't quake. Drat, I wish he would quake right now. All of his stuff would die. Most of his stuff. And my ether pump would finish it off. Okay, don't play anything that's gonna scare me. Play like some low cost creatures and connect all those guys. Brother of the wolf. And. Is he gonna kill him? No, he's not. Very good. So, a lot of things just died. Those three creatures die. And we don't want to thunder surge because these guys are gonna die anyways. I'll wait a little bit to thunder surge. Do a clock library. That's nice. I don't think that we're gonna use our clock library right now, though. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna use that. Because we have enough cards right now. Go like Elder. You're dead. You're dead. This is not going to give the plus two attack because it's not uh, in killed in battle. It's just it's just killed by like weird stuff. So I could either put an Ether Bump down or a Gray Block Elder. I'm gonna go with the Gray Block Elder. There we go. Oh no, it did do it. Killed him. Oh, because this this is a uh, a structure. The damage is coming from the structure, so it is combat damage. I forgot. Like if it was by thunder surge and I killed the killed the frost spirit, it would not have given him the plus two attack. Hopefully, it's not a big deal though. I think I still would have played the Grey Black elder if I knew that over the ether pump. So hopefully, it does not kill it. Sacks for. Power bound. Ah, uh, what well, sucks? Okay. So now that Mangy's not thunder surgical. We have a machinated and a piercing projectile. We can put those both on our grave lock elder. Next turn. Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna sack for scrolls. Desperation. No, I wouldn't do anything. I think I have to go ether pump. And now I just hope that uh, I can survive another turn. I have a Pierce and Projectile Machinated in my hand, which means I can go. 8, 4, 2, 1 if he fills us up. I'm definitely going to be able to kill these two guys if uh, if he doesn't put anything in front of them and stuff. So that's going to be nice. And that would just take... That would take 4 of the resources. So, oh, whatever. We also have a Desperation but we to give extra attack to our Elder, but we can't do that because Desperation deals 1 damage to the creature you played on and 
our elder only has one health due to the frost beard giving all that damage. And then he mangy wolf, so then he killed my ether pump. Wildling. And he summons a wolf next to the wildling, so now the wildling has one attack. Hmm. It's time to thunder search? Nah, it was almost time. He just connected those guys. Ah, burn. It's a piercing projectile we can do. Uh, what does this guy have? Power bound, okay. It's not a big deal. If I pierce my additional match, I need to hold 8 attack, and I could des destroy both of those guys or both of those guys. Um, if I burn... If I burn... You... Uh... If I go for Pierce this guy is four attacks. So that means we'll do two attacks to the thing behind it. Ah, uh, it's the wrong order though. Hmm. Ah, drats. Alright, I'm going to burn this. And then I'll go ahead and. Sack for energy and and uh, and play pitch projectile, but they want to. <laughs> okay. Let's see. That pierce projectile is probably stupid. I guess it gets a little more damage in. I get to do two damage to that idol, but I mean. I guess it wasn't that bad because now we can play more stuff this turn if we wanted that. Uh, so this turn it looks like we're gonna go scatter gunner clock library, thunder surge if he decides to uh, play badly. Don't tell me he's gonna win. Is he gonna double focus? He might double focus. Via, I think he might have double focus. How do we have ten spectators on this judgment match? Uh, let's see. Alright, just a wings. Soldier. One card, is he gonna play it? Nope. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Nothing really to thunder surge. It's not like he can god hand or anything. Uh, I like the desperation. I also like the master needed. Ah, why does it have to be so hard? Uh. Get rid of the desperation. Master needs mindset. Okay, so we're gonna put the tool initiate down. I'm gonna put move you up because I think I want to kill those guys and also I want to protect this guy with the lock battery. And I'll put a tool in the sheet down here. Okay. So I can lose a lot of ways down here. If he has like another mangy wolf and like a crimson bull. Or he actually can't play a mangy wolf crimson bull. He doesn't have enough resources. Hmm. So we have a machinated and machinated mindset that I could put on this tool in the sheet. And he can uh, have some fun. I have to remember this guy's piercing projectile, so I could always machinate at him and he'd destroy like both guys. Um, let's see. And then I stole that Thunder Surge. Plate armor. He still. I still kill him with this. Is that his turn? Okay. I think that the obvious choice is to kill both of these guys. Because the piercing is going to do two damage to that. So we opt to kill them both. 
Uh, yes, let's kill them both. We're not gonna thunder so this turn. Uh, then we have a three and a three. Let's go ahead and sack for scrolls. Good, we have a mortar. I like that mortar. I'm gonna put down the mortar up here. And the siege cracker down here has some more defense. There we go. Okay, so I think we're a little bit more protected. We have that solemn giant now, and we have enough resources to make him attack the next turn. But I don't think we want to put the solemn giant down, there'd be no point. We're not going to be able to win this if all we do for a turn is just have eight attack go off. He has too many little creatures. We're holding on to that cylinder thunder surge. As soon as he makes a little mistake, I'm doing that. Well, actually, maybe we do want to use Solid John. We have a Massination Mindset. And then we can put eight damage down. I don't know. That wouldn't be a bad idea. I can get some of that fun stuff going. Let's see what he has. Can he win? Yeah, he can win with like a Crimson Bull. Crimson Bull like and something else. A Rag Wolf or something. But I doubt he has that. He's acting for more order now. I wonder what he has. Heritage. Okay. Fine, I don't care. Binding root. Got it. And better. Um I think let's see, if we machinate his mindset this guy and then machinate him, he kills them both. And then we don't have a use for a Solomon Giant. Uh, I really wanted to get that Solomon Giant going. It's fine. This guy's going to attack every three turns. Solomon Giant, we're not gonna, it's going to take too long to go off. And now he has six growth. That's a little too much for me. So I will go... Mash nascent mindset machinated. I move you there, and I'll sack this. No, I want some giant still. I guess I see. I'm gonna sack the siege cracker for the scatter gunner down here. So she, he can move her down and do one damage to that. All right. So that thing is attacking every three turns, and it's a monster. It's actually probably better than the Psalm Giant because it's going to attack anyways without me having to pump it up with uh, resources. Okay. We're doing a bit of idle damage. He has two 7 health idols. Not too bad. This video is getting pretty long. Oh boy. I think it's going to be a lot longer if I end up winning this game. Our clock library can actually go off soon. As long as he has, he has a kinfolk veteran, you gotta remember that. No, is he gonna win? Kinfolk vet, he does not win. And he got, I suppose well, he still use that. He can now he can kill that thing. That's annoying. Well, he was just placed as a blocker, anyways. But it's still annoying. I think we have to put more, pay more attention to that bottom idol now. He has all those guys in there, and I have nothing. If we don't have something better, we might have to use that uh, Psalm Giant as a blocker. Or what do we Thunder Surge next turn? Those Mage Jewels are just going to heal the damage right back. Hmm. I'll start by sacking this. Uh. 
Thunder Surge. I'm gonna take the chance I'm not gonna Thunder Surge. I don't know, I don't I don't think he's gonna have a rally. If he does have a rally, then he still wins. Yes, yeah, so I'm just gonna burn. Hopefully we get a small creature. Stormrunner. Okay. Very good. I don't think he's gonna be able to win with that. Um keep that guy back there. Oh he's binding it so I can't even move him. Move this guy down a little bit. And order do your thing. Ah, so close. Alright, it's my clock library goes off next turn. Let's see what he does. He has three order and five growth and five cards. Um, blessing of haste. That has me worried that he's like, gonna win or something. Because if he was just trying to scale the storm runner, I feel that he would probably just blessing of face the sister of the fox. And he's going to roll. Are we gonna see like champion ring? Are we gonna see like a crimson bowl or something? I guess that works, so you didn't really have to put the thing on the... Alright, we're good. He does not win. And we can Thunder Surge. Yes! He, he plays them all like that. Yes! We Thunder Surge! Or do we Inferno Blast? Um... Maybe he wants us to Thunder Surge because he has like... A rally because if he has a rally he wins because if we thunder surge he still has this guy and this guy attacking uh, he's left me no choice I'm gonna do it there we go I don't think I have any one cost things so I'm going to sack for energy and now he's a veteran so I'm not gonna move that guy is he gonna win he has like a veteran focus he wins he has a veteran I know that let's see wildling good the wildling does not scare me who do you purify this guy, right? Who did he purify? This guy? Who did you purify? Let's see. Um, Frontal Blast, I think I'm going to do that. I want to kill them. I also want to kill you, though. Uh, I'm going to get rid of the... Focus. Alright. Oh, we got a cannon. It's nice. That's weird. I said I didn't. What? Alright, we'll do. Do you want to do that or that? We'll do that. And then I'll go with the. I'll go ether pump right in the middle in case we want to protect it. And in case we want to hide behind it. And if he has a veteran, so be it. Kill him. But I destroyed two idols. So we're even on idol damage. And I'm getting up to the point where I can go Solemn Giant. Uh, if I, once I have 10 resources, I can go a surprise Solemn Giant. And I think I'll be able to win the game. As long as I get some a little bit more idle damage in with that, like, with my elder. Or no, my elder can't move. That's annoying. Hmm. Man, I really hope he doesn't have Crimson Bolt in his deck. How many times have we cycled our deck so far already? Once? Twice? 
And that thing. And now that has two attack. Now that thing's gone. At least it prevented him from spawning a wolf. And end turn. Okay. Now's where I wish this guy can like teleport all the way down there and just like attack. I have a fury. I have a fury. Fury would help him more than me. I would be able to put damage on this idol with the peers. No, I can't move that guy. I keep thinking that. Uh, let's see. I like it. I like a lot of this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and sacrifice for energy. And I'm gonna put down the big old. This is gonna have three, so I'm gonna put down cannon and then knock us behind it. Cannon's gonna be the blocker. Yeah, sure. Because he has the armor. Okay. So I think I'm protected. Now, let's see. We can do a surprise giant. But we probably don't want to do that next turn. Because we don't have... I'm going to wait until we can win like that. We need to do some idle damage first. I have a fury. Which means I can make all my stuff attack. Namely this guy, so he'll definitely be able to put idle damage on that for the next turn. And veteran, so now that guy's dead. Okay, not good. Our deck did not recycle, so I don't think I can get any, uh, anything. Hmm. It's tough. I think I'll sack the copper. So, I don't think it was possible for me to get a Thunder Surge. Okay, this is not looking good. Uh, clock Library. And scatter Gunner, I guess. How much damage does he have? He has 3-3. Three, three. The most he could have is 3-3-3, three, 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 and he has one card, so let's see. 3-3. Three, three. Alright, so the Scatter Gunner, 4 Athleta. I should be able to survive, but you never know. Alright, get something. Ah, oh, come on, rocks out of the board. Go on, you're 0 for like 4. You're 0 for 4, like, mortar. Okay. Next turn. Um. Next turn, if I, uh. If he doesn't win, I could win if I um, move this guy down and put a Solemn Giant behind him. Okay. Don't win, please. Please don't win. Moving up. Moving that guy down. Moving that guy down. Okay, so he's killing those three. Let's see. If I move this guy down, don't buy any room. That would suck. That would be the worst to be binding roots in. So then I can go one, two, three, so then he has five damage left, puts five damage on the idol, and a solemn giant finishes it off. That would win me the game. GG. G to the G. If I simply Can I simply win with the desperation? That would give him plus four, twelve. No, it wouldn't. It would put me really close, but GG, GG WP. And enter. So that was a tough game, but we ended up coming out on top. Alright, so 
I hope you uh, all enjoyed the video, and be sure to check out my um, my top 10 growth scrolls video uh, after you watch this. So thanks for watching. See you next time.